guys, it's Lynn with Little Fit Nursery, and I wanted to do a video with my Mia. She is the Ella Sculpt by Jenny Lee. She's just a sweet, sweet baby. She's one of my marshmallow babies. Um, oh, love this baby <laughs> so much. Um, I'm going to change her into one of the outfits that Jenny sent to me. Um, I, as you guys know, I've been so busy. <laughs> I, I haven't even, I haven't, like, I've only been able to play with my babies on camera, basically. Um, so it's just when I do videos is when I get to play with them or sometimes at night I'll cuddle while I'm watching TV. I have not even gotten a chance to put her in this really cute, um, outfit that Jenny sent with her. This is actually, um, Just One You by Carter's. I think you can get this at Target. It's so cute. Um, so I'm going to, I'm going to try putting this on, this outfit on her and, and I'm excited because I, I really love just like snuggly clothing on my dolls. Um. But while I change her, I wanted to just share and just kind of talk a little bit because I have some really, really sad news um, that I just found out like a few days ago. Um, so my cousin, um, they have a daughter who is, I think, um, probably, I, I don't know if she's two already, um, but yeah, I think she's about two years old now. But uh, and, and they were expecting baby number two, also a girl. And... Um, my cousin's wife, um, they, I don't know the details, but basically, uh, she was 37 weeks pregnant and all I saw was just a Facebook post saying that, you know, that they wanted to ask for prayers, um, and they didn't really specify why. And I immediately was like, oh no, is something, is everything okay? Like with, with the baby. And, um, so anyway, I think she ended up um, you know, kind of going into labor and, um, the baby was born, a, you know, really, really not too early because 37 weeks is pretty much full term if I'm not mistaken. So the baby was 17 inches, um, five pounds, I think five pounds, seven ounces. So, you know, really a full size baby. Um, but she did not survive. Um, and it's so hard to even talk about cause I just can't, like imagine, you know, having to go through that, um, carrying a baby to full term and not having the baby make it. Um, and the reason I wanted to have Mia in this video is they were going to name her, they named her Mia. Um, so she was born without a heartbeat and, um, her mom, uh, basically was fighting for her life in, in the operating room. Um, so the doctors had to do like an emergency surgery and, you know, her life was in the balance. Um, and yeah, it's just so scary. Like, I'm so thankful that, you know, um, my cousin's wife, that she made it through okay. She's, she's doing well, but, um, their baby didn't make it. And it's just, it just, it's just incredibly devastating. I know a lot of you guys who are in the hobby, some of you have experienced loss of, of a child through miscarriage or, um, have maybe had that, had a similar situation happen. Um, I have another family friend who, whose baby was stillborn. Um, and so I know that this happens, but it is just, oh my gosh, it is just so heartbreaking. And there are just really no words, um, for a loss like that. There really aren't. Um, I, I just think no parent should have to lose their child. It's just so, it's so awful. Um, but yeah, I, oh, Anyway, that's been weighing heavy on my heart. So I've just been praying for them and really like, and then, you know, kind of thinking, it made me think about our hobby because I know, you know, um, we all collect for different reasons and there are, you know, and I know that sometimes this hobby gets a bad rep because sometimes people think it's weird for collectors to collect, you know, because they lost a child or maybe they want to have children and they, and they can't for whatever reason. Um, and you know, and I, I, I would just say to those people, like, don't judge, you know, because you never know what someone's going through and, um, your words can be so hurtful, you know, if you, and I, I think everybody grieves in their own way. Um, and I think we should allow people to, you know, some people, yeah, if, if they want to collect to help fill that void, I think that's okay. I really do. And, you know, it can be, it could be useful, you know, kind of just sometimes I, from what I've heard and I haven't experienced this, um, thankfully, but like from what I've heard, sometimes you're, you know, after a loss like that, your, your arms just ache to hold, like hold that baby that, 
you know, you, um, you know, your arms just ache to hold a baby. And I think that's where this reborn hobby can be so helpful. Um, so yeah, anyway, I wanted to just share that with you guys. If you can keep them in your prayers, I'm not going to share their names for privacy reasons, but just keep them in your prayers. Um, I, I wasn't sure, um, whether we should go see them. They don't live uh, nearby, so it would be like a plane ride, but they, it seems like they just want, um, you know, they, they just kind of want their privacy at this time, which I totally understand. So, so I sent them, um, soup and cookies. Um, there's actually, I don't know if you guys have heard of this company. I, I heard about it on Shark Tank. I don't know if anybody else watches Shark Tank, but I, I love it because you can, um, find out about all sorts of like cool new like companies that you wouldn't know about otherwise. But there's a company on Shark Tank that, I don't know what episode or what season, but um, called Spoonful of Comfort. So I learned about that company through Shark Tank and they basically send, you can send um, soup and cookies and, and it comes with like bread rolls. And I just thought, oh, that's, that's like wonderful. I think that's like such a great idea, you know, um, because it's something practical. You know, when you're going through like a hard time, you just don't want to have to cook sometimes. And so, so anyway, I, that's what I, I sent. I sent some soup <laughs> and cookies to them. And, um, and I know it's just a small gesture, um, but, hope, but I hope I hope that they should get it next week. I hope that they like it and it's just it helps to brighten up a day. Um, oh my gosh, look at Miss Mia, she's so sweet. So anyway, yes, yeah, so I, so I know they were, they had named their baby Mia. And yeah, my heart is just so heavy for them. I, um, and you know, I, they don't, they don't know that I'm, I don't know if they even know about this hobby, but I, I just think that, um, you know, I don't think it, it's necessarily, you know, I, I made a, memor a memorial baby for my aunt, which I still haven't, when my aunt, um, when my cousin passed away earlier this year, I made a memorial baby for my aunt and I still haven't given it to her. I'm still just like not sure how that would go over. But um, but it was healing for me to go through that process of making the memorial baby. Um, yeah, so I, anyway, I just thought I would do a video with my Mia. I'm gonna try this bib on her and see how this looks. I'm not usually like a big bib person. <laughs> Oh, but this is kind of cute on her. It's really cute. It feels a little bit large, but um, yeah, let's see here. Okay, there you go. Oh, that's pretty cute. I'll need to cut off this tag. It's just a little unwieldy. <laughs> Actually, I like her without it. I'm going to take it off. It's kind of cute, but I'm like kind of simple in how I dress my babies. I don't really have a lot of accessories for them. Um, I just kind of like, I don't really do socks and shoes, um, or really like a lot of headbands and hats and stuff like that. I know a lot of you guys are so much better at accessorizing your, your, your babies than I am. I think cause my, my, uh, own kids were basically, they just basically lived in sleepers and, um, that was pretty much it <laughs> for the first six months of life. Um, yeah, let me go ahead and pick up Mia. But yeah, sometimes I just, I, sometimes I wonder if, you know, if they, I think a lot of. I, th I can, I could totally see how a hobby, like being in this hobby would be like, if you had a baby to hold when you're just like wanting one to hold, that that can be really healing and helpful. But for some people it might be too painful too. So it's, it's a really tough call. So I don't, you know, I wouldn't like say anything to them or anything like that about the hobby or anything like that. But you know, if they, I think sometimes people discover the hobby through, um, just through their own research. So yeah, anyway, here's my sweet girl. <laughs> she's so, she's so awesome to hold. I just like love, I love her. So, um, yeah, but, um, I just wanted to hop on and just chat about that. I know it's a really sensitive topic. Um, and for any of you guys out there listening who are going through a similar experience of loss or have experienced that in the past, um, you know, my heart just goes out to you. I, um, yeah, I, and I can't, I, yeah, I can't, I can't imagine what that must be like. Um, and yeah, I just, I just remembered when I was pregnant with Audrey, my, 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 my daughter 
that when we got to the very end of my pregnancy, you know, I felt so bonded with her, even though she wasn't born yet, but you know, she had been growing in my, in my tummy. Like I could feel her kick and like, it was actually kind of cool. Cause like I would, um, yeah, I would like sing to her and like read to her and I could feel her kick in response. Um, and you know, I just felt so bonded and, and I remembered having that fear that something would happen <laughs> and, um, cause I, in that I wouldn't be able to handle it, you know? So, <sighs> um, anyway, guys, I don't mean to be a downer today, but I, I just wanted to, you know, hop on and share and just ask you guys to pray for them. And I just really, you know, I, yeah, I just hope that, I mean, we're, we should hopefully see them for the holidays this year. Um, we, we always, they always come out, um, you know, to, uh, to, you know, for, for Christmas. So I know we'll, I know we'll see them and I hope that, um, yeah, there's nothing, there's nothing to no no words, um, to kind of express <laughs> how, um, how devastating of a loss that is. But anyway, guys, all right. Well, thank you so much for watching. Um, I, I hope you guys, if you're new to my channel, I hope you'll like and subscribe and, I will talk to you all soon. And, and this is Mia. She is my Ella by Jenny Lee. Um, Jenny Lee of Wee Babies Nursery. I think her website's just weebabiesnursery.com. And she's also on Facebook. So, and she has some like new, uh, new sculpts coming out. So, which, which is really exciting. All right, guys, I will talk to you soon. Have a wonderful day and take care.